This is a level two functional skills math paper from AQA. In this part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. What is three fifths as a decimal? Three fifths is the same as six tenths, which is 0 0.6. So that's the answer. Work out seven take away 2.835. So 7.000 take away 2.35. We've got to take away 5 from the 0, which means we need to borrow. So looking at the 0, we can't borrow from it because there is nothing there. And we can't borrow from the other 0. So we're going to borrow 1 from the 7, which becomes the 6. So if you borrow one from that, it gives this 10. Now that means we can borrow one from it and it becomes nine and this becomes 10. And finally, we repeat this again and this becomes a nine and this becomes a 10. So 10 take away five gives us five. Nine take away three gives us six. Nine take gives us one, six, take away two gives us four. So the answer is 4.165. Work out the size of angle X in this triangle. We know that the internal angles in a triangle add up to 180. So we know this one, which is 36, and this one 36 as well. So 36 and 36 gives us 72. Now 180, take away 72. We borrow one from the eight. This becomes a 10. 10 take away two gives us eight. Seven take away seven is zero. One take away zero is one. So 108 degrees. That's what angle X is equal to. Plot the point negative 3, 2 on the grid. So this represents the x coordinate. So we're looking at the x axis. So we go to negative 3 or minus 3, as we say. And we go up two spaces because it's positive 2. So 1, 2. So there we have the two and then we have the negative three. Work out 25 take away two times three squared. So we're gonna use bit mass because we've got a number of operations in there. We haven't got brackets, but we've got indices or powers. So that's what we're gonna do first. So I'm gonna rewrite as 25 take away two times 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. Now, in between subtraction and multiplication, I'm going to be doing multiplication first. So 25 take away 2 times 9 is 18. Now we do subtraction. So 25 take away 18 is 7. And that's the answer. A, B, C, and D are scatter diagrams. Which diagram shows negative correlation? Circle your answer below. So looking at A, there is no correlation whatsoever. Looking at B, it's a positive correlation going upwards. Looking at C, it's a negative correlation. It's going downwards. D is also a positive correlation. So the only option here is C. Market stall. Lisa makes fudge and sells it on a market stall. Lisa makes fudge using these ingredients. We've got sugar, butter, evaporated milk, milk and flavoring and the measurements. This makes enough fudge for four boxes. Lisa wants to make enough fudge for 48 boxes. 
she already has 1.4 kilograms of sugar sugar is sold in one kilogram bags how many bags of sugar does she need to buy so to get from four boxes to 48 boxes what do we do how many times bigger is 48 than four so we can do 48 divided by four which gives us 12. so we've multiplied four by 12 to get 48 so we can do this with all of the ingredients that we get we've got in here we're only interested on the sugar so times 12 500 times 12 that gives us 6,000 and that is grams because we input grams and 6,000 grams is equal to 6 kilograms she already has 1.4 kilograms so we're going to do 6 take away 1.4 borrowing 1 here so 10 take away 4 gives us 6 5 take away 1 gives us 4 so 4.6 kilograms how many bags which are 1 kilogram each that means 5 bags we can't go for 4 bags because that wouldn't be enough so 5 bags Lisa sells the fudge in three flavors, strawberry, vanilla, and mint. She looks at the number of boxes of each flavor she has sold in the last few weeks. We've got strawberry 60, vanilla 140, and mint 40. This week, Lisa makes 48 boxes. Using the data above, how many boxes of each flavor should she make? You must show your working. So there are different ways you could do this, but given that we can't use a calculator, I'm going to simplify and get this as a ratio so we've got strawberry if we divide all of these by 10 we get 6 to 14 to 4 we could simplify this further by dividing by 2 so 6 divided by 2 gives us 3 14 divided by 2 gives us 7 and 4 divided by 2 gives us 2 in total that is 3 and 7 10 and 2 is 12. now we're going to scale this up to go to 48. so 12 we multiply by 4 to get to 48 so we can multiply each of these by 4 so times 4 gives us 12 7 times 4 gives us 28 2 times 4 gives us 8 and if you add them they should give us 48 so 2 and 8 is 10 and the 8 is 18 so 8 down and 1 carried over 1 and 1 2 and 2 4 so 48 so it's 12 strawberry fudges 28 vanilla and eight mint Lisa has to drive 50 miles to the market the market starts at 9 a.m. she needs to arrive at least half an hour before the market starts she leaves home at 7 10 a.m lisa says if i drive at an average of 40 miles per hour i'll be there in time is she correct so if she leaves home at 7 10 then she's going to drive 50 miles at a speed of 40 miles per hour so 40 miles will take one hour but that's not all because she's going to drive another 10 miles so we can add that on top 
How long does it take to drive 10 miles? 10 miles is a quarter of 40. So 40 divided by 4 gives us 10. So we've got to divide that one hour by 4 to give us a quarter of an hour. which is 15 minutes. So in total, it takes one hour and 15 minutes to drive 50 miles at that speed. So 7, 10. If we add one hour, That's going to be 8, 10 a.m. If we add 15 minutes, that's going to be 8, 25 a.m. Now, the market starts at 9 a.m. And she needs to be there half an hour before, which is 8.30 a.m. 8.25 is earlier than 8.30, so she's correct. And this is the end of this part.